Okay, all right, Mr. Thompson here with a video maths lesson talking about graphing lines with only one intercept. So some special cases of lines um, that have a few unique characteristics. So what is it about these lines? Why, do, why are they important or whatever? And how do we deal with them? All right, so we'll look at some examples along the way as well. Um, now, when we are graphing lines, we're going to be doing this on the xy axis, the coordinate plane. And um, often when we graph lines, they look something like this, right? Nice uh, gentle slope on this one or whatever, blue line. But you'll notice that it is going through both uh, axes. It's got two intercepts. So this is sort of your standard run-of-the-mill line. It's not the kind of thing we're talking about today. What we're talking about is one where we have only one intercept. So let's plot this point. It is an intercept. It's on an axis. Um, and we're going to say that we're going to draw a line through this point that only has that one intercept. It doesn't um, have one on the x-axis. So it doesn't intersect the x-axis. Okay. The point that we're looking at right now, the, this, these axes have a scale, so it's um, 0, 5, right, is the point we're looking at. And we're going to draw a line through that that doesn't intersect the x-axis. So therefore, it has to be parallel to the x-axis. has to look like this, right? Um, so if it's parallel to the x-axis, the x-axis is horizontal, so these lines with only a y-intercept are all going to be horizontal, okay? Um, likewise, we could have a line with just an x-intercept. Um, and so this, this coordinate, the coordinates of that point that I've drawn are going to be 3, 0, could be anywhere on the x-axis. Um, but I've just chosen uh, 3, 0, and just like I chose 0, negative 5 down here, kind of randomly. But this point, if it's only got an x, uh, this line that's going to go through the 3, 0, uh, if it's going to not have a y-intercept, then it has to be parallel to the y-axis, so it has to be vertical, right? So horizontal and vertical lines are these special lines where there are only one intercept. Um, Briefly might mention that uh, the exception is, of course, if the lines are actually on the x or y axes, um, then it's kind of like there's an infinite number of uh, intercepts because it's touching the either axis at like everywhere along the whole line. So those, are, those kind of don't count. Okay, there is one other kind of line that will have only one point that is an intercept, and that is if that point is on the origin. So this point right here at uh, 0, 0, right, the origin. Um, if a line goes through that, then it kind of does intersect both axes, but it only intersects them at one point, so it only has one intercept, okay? So the three kinds of lines that we're dealing with here are horizontal, vertical, and the ones that go through the origin, okay? Now, let's take a look at these for a second. Um, the horizontal one, if we look at some more points along that line, for example, this point here, negative 5, negative 5, okay, is also on that line. And then um, over on the other side, 4, negative 5. Those points are all on that purple line, which only has one intercept. Um, what you should notice about all these points is that they have different x values, but they all have the same y value. So you can have any x value, but the y value is always negative 5, and that tells you instantly what the equation is. It's y equals negative 5, because no matter where you go along that line, y equals negative 5, and x can be anything. So there is actually no x in that equation at all. Now, like I said, I could have put that point anywhere on the y-axis, um, except uh, at the origin. And um, so that negative 5, it could be any number. We just give it a, a letter like b, and we say that could be any letter um, at all. Okay. Now, let's look at the green line. I've got a point here that's got an arrow going to it. That would be the point uh, 3, negative 3. And then we can do another point up here, which is the point uh, 3, 5. And of course, hopefully you notice that um, they all have the same x-coordinate. They all have different y-coordinates. The y can be anything, um, and, but the x is always 3. So the equation for that line is x equals 3. And of course, just like with the uh, horizontal lines, 
that three, we could put that anywhere on the x-axis and have a vertical line. So we can just put a letter in there, x equals c or b or whatever. And um, that, uh, along with the b, that can be any number at all, right? With the lines through the origin, it's, uh, the, there is going to be an x and a y. Um, and the easiest way to think about these lines through the origin are that uh, they don't have, uh, well, the y-intercept is zero, right? The y-intercept is zero. So our normal equations are y equals mx plus c or y equals mx plus b. And that b or c, that y-intercept is zero. So we don't need a plus zero on there. So it's just y equals mx, and that's it. In the same way that m can be any number, um, the gradient can be anything uh, from, you know, uh, zero, although, again, that would have infinite intercepts on the, um, actually, that, that would just be y equals zero, but anyway, um, it, so it can be any, uh, you know, positive or negative number um, up to, uh, you know, infinite, right? All right, those are our three types of lines, and the, the ways that the equations look, you more or less want to kind of memorize, you know, or, or, find a way to rationalize in your mind. Okay, horizontal is y equals a number, vertical is x equals a number, and then lines through the origin are y equals mx. All right, let's look at some examples of these. Okay, so we have uh, an example where it says graph these lines, y equals negative two, x equals four, and y equals three x. All right, we're gonna draw our uh, coordinate plane. I'll scoot over here get out of the way. And I have my scale on there. I've drawn it with nice straight lines, labeled the axes. And so we're going to graph this y equals negative 2. And the first thing I do is go down and graph the, um, the point on the y-axis at negative 2. And then I know that uh, that only has one intercept. And I know I've already graphed it. So that's the only one. So it's going to be a horizontal line. I can graph any other point where y equals negative 2, like over here and or wherever I want, and then draw that line between them, and that's my horizontal line. Similarly, if I have x equals 4, I can draw that um, point on the x-axis, and then I can draw any other point with the coordinate uh, x equals 4, um, and that's my vertical line. The lines with that go through the origin are a little bit more complex, not too um, tricky, but we can, we can plot the um, origin. So we know that it doesn't have, the, the y-intercept is zero. So we can just put it there on the origin, my pink, uh, sorry, orange dot there. And then uh, I'm gonna follow these steps. So first I plot that point um, at the origin. Uh, and then secondly, I'm going to pick any x value. I can pick any value I want. I'm gonna pick something that's in my, uh, between, you know, in the x values that I've, that I've drawn here, okay? And then I'm going to, uh, yeah, and one is a good one. One's an easy point to do maths with, e easy calculations, right? Uh, and I'm going to plug that uh, value in for x and find uh, the y coordinate for that. And then I'll plot that point and draw the line between the, or the two points that I plotted, right? So I'm going to choose x equals one like I, like I recommended. I plug that in, so it's y equals three times one. Three times one is, of course, three. So that's my, uh, my point that I can plot is 1, 3, right? I picked an x value. I calculated the y value of 3. So I can plot that point, okay, over 1 and up 3, and then I draw the line between it, okay? Um, and that's it. That's uh, how we uh, graph vertical, horizontal, and lines through the origin. Hopefully that helps. If you need any more, uh, if you have any questions or any specific examples that you'd like to see done, leave me a message and I'll uh, give it my best shot. That's it for now. I will talk to you.